The new approach would address issues related to accessibility for Power 5 League and Group of 5 schools left out of the selection process in recent years, and open the door for more at-large berths. But it would also lengthen the postseason by at least one game and possibly two for those playing in the first round. The new plan would also have ripple effects for the regular season, and impact the value of conference championship games and other in-season matchups that would affect seeding rather than a place in the field. The drama and debate over who is number 4 is significantly different than arguments for and against who is number 12. To get a better sense of the positives and negatives, let's break down what the playoff field would have looked like last season under the proposed 12-team plan announced Thursday. As a reminder, this is how last year's field played out, with the committee rankings for each team. The first part of the new proposal sees the top six conference champions in the committee rankings included in the field, with the first four receiving first-round buys. Six at-large selections would have gone to the next six teams in the committee's order. First-round games would have been played on campus sites, with the number five seed hosting the number 12 seed, number six hosting number 11, and so on. That would have created the following first round. The winners of the first round would have advanced to the quarterfinals at a bowl site. For purposes of this explainer, we will assume the higher seed wins. The winner of the Alabama-Cincinnati game would have faced the winner of the Oklahoma-Notre Dame matchup. The winner of the Clemson-Florida game would have faced the winner of the Ohio State-Texas A&M matchup. Had the higher-ranked teams prevailed in the fictional quarterfinals, the matchups for the semifinals would have been the same as they were selected by the committee. So what does this new model achieve? Yes, there are significantly more spots available, especially to half of the field, which had previously not made the playoff. Two group of five schools would have been in the field after previously being shut out. However, the Pac-12 still would have been without a team, while the SEC would have had four. The ACC, Big Ten and Big 12 would have had two each. However, the matchups of the first round aren't exactly what you would call compelling for a national audience. If the goal is to improve TV ratings and make things more interesting, is there an audience for Iowa State Florida or Indiana Texas A&M? Probably not, but that appears to be where the sport is headed. It will take some getting used to, as it did for previous versions. And the cream will continually rise to the top in the biggest games. Even changing the system won't change that Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma and Ohio State will be there in the end.